So, here we are. Finally, after some wacky tacky number of weeks, I'm finally here with my review for the Husbands of River Song. So you might be wondering though, hey Harold, what happened to the Sleep No More review? Well, the BBC screwed up a few of my other reviews, and kind of blocked them worldwide, so I decided to hold off for a bit until I could kind of figure a way to, you know, make this not happen anymore. And I think I did, so hopefully with this review it won't ever get blocked. But anyway, enough about that, let's just get on to the review and get on to the rest of this. So, The Husbands of River Song, as far as I'm aware, doesn't have an official episode number. It's not counted as series... 9 episode 13 as far as I'm aware. I've heard it referred to as series 10.x and I heard that last Christmas is counted as series 9.x uh, so it's possible that the Husbands of River Song is counted as series 10 but I don't know so take that with a grain of salt. Anyway let's move on to what I thought about the episode. As usual there will be spoilers. So don't watch this unless if you've seen the episode or don't care about being spoiled. I actually really enjoyed this episode. I didn't think it was going to surpass Last Christmas for me, and I actually happened to enjoy Last Christmas quite a lot from last year. So I didn't think it was going to end up being better than Last Christmas, but I was pleasantly surprised. The Husbands of River's Song is easily the best Christmas special we've had since, well, ever. It made me smile almost 24-7, it's such an enjoyable experience. The biggest highlight of the episode for me was the Doctor getting his turn to do the bigger on the inside reaction to the TARDIS. It was hilarious and Capaldi as usual completely killed the scene. I think the Doctor's reaction to the TARDIS is possibly the best bigger on the inside reaction we've had thus far, but that's probably because the Doctor is the one reacting to the TARDIS this time. I also like seeing the Doctor's various reactions to River Song's different husbands. It was very interesting to see River Sog where the Doctor isn't with her, and the Doctor seeing her personal life without her knowing. I also really liked the villain of this Christmas special. I thought the robot was pretty cool. And one thing I do gotta commend the past Doctor Who Christmas specials, and this one, is the fact that the villains, or the problem the Doctor has to solve for the Christmas specials, are usually unique. And I like that. Though, one thing I do hope for Series 10, though, is that they bring on board some unique monsters or some old ones we haven't seen in ages. I don't really think we need another Dalek or Cyberman episode for a while. So I hope Moffat and the writing staff for Series 10 bring more unique monsters or bring old ones, you know, back onto the table. I really like that scene where River Song talks about loving the Doctor and him not loving her back because he's the Doctor. The entire scene was beautiful and the dialogue was brilliant. Watching the Doctor's face as he hears what she feels is absolutely fantastic. The highest point of that scene is that he's the one who says hello sweetie instead of River Song. I think it was more emotional coming from him for this scene versus if it would have come from River Song. And that entire scene was just fantastic and I started to tear up. It was very well done. So, bravo Alex Kingston, bravo Peter Capaldi. And one thing I will say is the ending of this episode of Derillium was pretty emotional. Finally seeing the Doctor give River Sog her sonic screwdriver that she uses in Silence of the Library and Forest of the Dead was pretty emotional. I thought it was nice of them not to just re reuse the prop from those two episodes or use a toy of her sonic screwdriver. They seemingly made a whole new prop that's not withered or scarred and looks brand new which I think is a very nice detail. The entire Singing Tower scene was absolutely beautiful, too. I really like that twist at the end when River Song thinks this is the last 24 hours she'll spend with the Doctor, but then it turns out to be the last 24 years that she'll spend with the Doctor. It was a really nice twist, and I think it's a fitting end to River Song's character. Being able to spend all those years with someone she loves, and I think it's nice that the Doctor got to spend 24 years with her after all the pain and loss he felt and experienced during Series 9. So, complaints about the Husbands of River Song. I really only have one complaint, and that it's River Song completely ignored all the hints the Doctor kept dropping about who he is. Even though I don't know if I dislike that, the way I interpret it, was that she prides herself in knowing every regeneration of the Doctor, she knows the rules of regeneration, and she probably knows Gallifrey is gone. Or at least thinks it's gone. So she wouldn't expect the Doctor to get a whole new set of regenerations from the Time Lords, considering she thinks they're gone. But at least that's the way I interpreted her, not realizing who the Doctor was until it became basically blatantly obvious. 
Other than that, I don't really have any complaints. The Husbands of River Song was an absolutely fantastic Christmas special, and it is quite possibly my favorite Christmas special. It was a fitting end to River Song, if this is the end of her at least, and I felt the Doctor deserved a break. It was great seeing him smile and laugh, something the Doctor hasn't done in a long time. So what'll happen in Series 10? I have absolutely no idea. But I hope it isn't Capaldi's last run as the Doctor. Because that would be a huge shame. But I guess I'll be seeing you all in my next Doctor Who review. As usual, I'm Harold Fitch, and if you want to see more, be sure to subscribe. Peace out.